probably looks a lot like 20 years ago this morning. They came to reflect and commemorate. I think it's, a, it, it's respect, it's remembering the past. Saturday marks 20 years since the world stood still when the Twin Towers fell. It's important for it to always stay with us. For many, We've lived in a changed world since that day. Thousands died on September 11th, 2001, in New York, at the Pentagon, and in a field in Pennsylvania. We must remember those who died, the families who lost them, and those who have kept us and continue to keep us safe. Around the world, people watched it unfold live on TV and amongst the evil. In the outpouring of grief, there was tremendous sympathy. Here in the Commonwealth, 184 lost their lives with the terrorist attack on the Pentagon. I thought he was the bravest man on earth in that moment. 14 years after that attack. But I had no idea my father was directly impacted by it. Then 15-year-old Danielle Fall learns from her father what he lived through that day. I'm here because if it weren't for people like my father and everyone else that was directly impacted by 9-11, I would have no story to tell. The ceremony at the War Memorial serves not just to remember. So in 9-11, I was at Woolridge Elementary standing in front of a class of completely innocent students. This is a reminder to teach the 70 million born since that day what happened. It is a very intimidating topic for a teacher to want to cover 9-11 for all the emotions that are involved and all the questions that could possibly come from it. So along with the Freedom Flag Foundation. What I hope to instill in children is a story of hope. She wrote a children's book from the Freedom Flag's perspective. When I get down to the end of this story, I simply say to everybody, but what does this mean for you? Simply share my story. The recurring theme here with all the speakers was never forget. They all talked about how important it is to remember 9-11 and to make sure that future generations remember as well. Working for you in Richmond, Wayne Koval, CBS 6 News.